part which was pending over here with us was for hierarchy. Uh, for hierarchy, I was stating that what all uh, queries and packages will be needed. So for queries and packages, we'll be needing the package for rel relationship and uh, the base object, the put packages. We, I went ahead and created. So both of these packages are over here. The second part which was pending with after these packages is once we created the profile, we any questions in the profile will you be created it. Any questions? So how when we went ahead and created the profiles, you guys remember that, right? Yes, uh, just recollecting it. Okay, so we just went ahead over here, add a profile, just give the name and add all the relationship type which you needed and just save it. That would be how we went ahead and created this so entity objects and relationship for those all relationship type will be coming along. Okay. So we went ahead, we added these two things and accordingly all the things for our relationship have been added. So once the profile has been created, what we have to go ahead and do is we have to add the labels and everything by adding the packages. And all these are the numeric numbers when we'll be going ahead and we'll be creating it in via a data steward hierarchy manager how the labels will be coming in, what would be the listing criteria, what attributes I need for searching, what attributes should be there as common. If I'm going ahead and seeing in the hierarchy, what attribute should be showcased as a tool tip. So all those things we have to go ahead and add for each and everything. I just went ahead and added for one. Then once you are done with all these zeros and ones, You'll be just going ahead, double clicking it. So all your numbers will be over here. So you can just go ahead and update it if I want in any other way. I can go ahead and add. So if I don't want any of these, I just want the first name, last name, employee code and the type. I'll just go ahead and add that. Same goes for tooltip pattern as well. So all those which I am enabling, only those I will be seeing. So everything has to be done for all those entity types. So for this also I have to add the package. Once I'll go ahead and add the package, all these would be coming up. So common you can see that in over here also, it has been added. So if it is utilizing the same package, and you'll set it one place and it will be utilized everywhere. And if I'll go over here, there is no pattern. So for pattern, what we have to go ahead and do, I can just go ahead and add the pattern for one, or I can say zero. And for the tool tip, I can just go ahead and set first name. Now this one, I won't be able to put unless and until I'll go ahead and set. So if I'll go ahead, you can see either detail or put packet must be specified. Detail means read. What means to have CRUD operations. So all those attributes where I want to go ahead and do CRUD, I'll just go ahead and set the values accordingly, index values. Add is for executing the process. Let 
list down is to list or to showcase all the hierarchies in a single format after the search is being done. So do I want to search anything? I can go ahead and specify that. So all these things needs to be specified if you want to use it in the hierarchy manager. Hierarchy manager the entity as well as for relationship also. And then also like, uh, these, are like index, you... no, these are index values. So we should be going with zero, one, two, three like this that's the best recommended way uh, so what will actually like happen based on these like indexes that we specify or this is how the data like will the be able to view view and edit in the sequence only so it's what sequence you want to showcase your uh, data when you're going ahead and creating the hierarchies I can state this one as three for everything. So list is basically what search you want to go ahead and do. What are the attributes you want to go ahead and search on? This is the search result. This is when you are reading. This is when you are trying to update. And this is when you are trying to add anything more, which means any execution which you want to go ahead and do this is tool tip when you go ahead and focus on anything that what you will what you want to go ahead and see over there so we you said like ahead. you will add right so how we will use this numbers by adding yeah numbers while adding right so once we go ahead and complete this configuration entire configuration from relationship type and also the entities and all i have done for this and let me just go ahead and add this one as well so these will be utilized at the end of in the end like means hierarchy manager when we'll be going ahead and see or want to add the data over there which particular data is what? Search on this last name and first name. We want to list down the data which means three and two and I want the row ID object to be displayed and to see the details with the row ID objects as well. So it's a, basically it takes a lot of time to go ahead and specify all these things, right? So, and there is no other way you can go ahead and cut short all these things. It's a specific thing which is coming along.
Karen went ahead. You can see over here is coming as zero, but over here I have gone ahead and added the one, right? So it won't let me add. Same sequence needs to be added up. Sequence number four, add, okay. So we went ahead, added for everything, right? Let's see if our uh, match has been completed or not. Match is still running. Okay, it's been completed already. Then why it is showcasing me like this? You can see record tokenized, queued for auto merge. It still records merged. It records or merged from that. And still, it is going in. It's still executing. It's not been completed yet. So it will go ahead and complete itself. So all those records which will be matched and merged, you can see these are still pending. Four are there, right? So all these are still going in and merging itself. Basically our server is slow. Hence you are seeing a lot of time taking up, taken up because it, we started at 18. Right now it's 33, right? So it's still taking time. So we'll see that. All the merged ones would be with consolidation indicator one, right? Consolidation indicator too because uh, we didn't update it as yes. Uh, here is my assembly setup. So this one is no. If we'll go ahead and update it with yes, then it would be consolidation indicator one. Okay. Oh, So we'll go into hierarchy manager. So we have gone ahead and set the profile, right? So when we'll go ahead and add, you can see over here, we are getting what type of person he is, let's say manager. Then you can see the difference right now. Over here, hub state indicator is coming. Manager, my hub state indicator went away. For team lead, I didn't add it as well. Getting? What would be the name? Let's say he is Lucas XYZ employee code is one, two, three, two, seven. And I, we didn't have a type which is these ones, so we won't be able to get the data in proper format. Okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, what is it like uh, we have selected here like hub state indicator one? Uh, hub state indicator what will it will convert, it will uh, create the record as active directly. Oh, okay, basically we are creating a new record from like, this, uh, like data. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, if we have to go ahead and search, we can go ahead and search. But for searching, we need the data, right? What would be the result for that? What is the type we want to go ahead and select? So that data will come up over here. All the data. Then we can add the relationship for that. No entities on left and right. That's why it's not showcasing us. So we can go into the data manager and then go ahead and add the data or we can directly add the data from over here. And then we can go ahead and create a relationship. Hierarchy. Okay. So both the things we can go ahead and do. Any question over here? Uh, 
Are you please let me see the developer? So it will be created. Next one, let's say we are creating a lead. His name is Susan B. Employee code is this type is team lead. Okay. We'll go ahead, create that. Which one do you want in our enterprise? Organizational relationship type will be lead to developer. And if you want a start date or an end date for this particular hierarchy, you can add that. Otherwise, it would be simply okay. Now this has been created. Okay. You can go ahead and find Lucas search. We got the record and this is what which one hope you can see it's been connected to this right so in the same way if i want to go ahead add a manager manager of susan let's say you get you became the manager i have no idea what your last name is i'm just putting okay Let's go ahead and directly see the data is coming up over here. So we add it up over here and we'll say one. So you can see over here that how the data will be moving up. So if I can go ahead and I can add as many as lead I want. So let's say XYZ ABC person. In as this and this person is also associated to okay. I'll go ahead and I'll just say all the hops. So you can see now the hierarchies are being updated. Okay, and the same data, we can go ahead and see it in employees. Over here is our employees table. And you can see all the data is there. One, two, three, four, which we created, everything. And in the relationship, you can see all are related. For which particular real type and which particular hierarchy? Any questions over here? Uh, like once you create all this, uh, like you said, right numbers like uh, zero, one, two, three. This shows the hierarchy level, right? Uh, yeah. Over here. Yeah. Huh. Yes, yes. So zero one, okay. So it's like the it least is. Uh, I mean, uh, the highest is the. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Two connections. Okay. These are showcasing two connection are shown out of, and how many are not? How many connection this have, and what is left of? This is what it's showcased. If I want, I can go ahead and if I want, I can go ahead and so if I want to go ahead and edit this, I can go ahead and edit. If I want to go ahead and edit this, I can go ahead and edit. Oh. To edit that relationship, I can go ahead and edit the relationship as well.
Okay. Yeah. So this is how the hierarchy will be showcased over here. These ones, we can go ahead and do a tree. Which one is going inside which? Circular, if there would be any. And also in this way. Hierarchy, if we go with the hierarchy, then you can see it's actually going from left to right. It's not from top to bottom over here. This top to this left to right approach is being updated in provisioning tool, and this particular entire structure we can see it as a top-down approach. In E360. Let's see if our merge is done. Okay, so it completed with warnings. Maximum range of merge queue has been increased. So that's what has been updated. So I think somebody has been updated. As for Q, why it is stating that it got reached? I think how many we have enabled from uh, the configuration that setting has been reached, and it's stating stating that manual consolidation the properties tab or maximum merge details dialog box. Maximum merge queue size has been reached, hence it was not able to update all the data. The ones which got updated, we can see the data in the cross reference. We can refresh it. So all the row ID objects, which will be same, now will be together. We can go ahead and check that. We have to go ahead and do a self join to see what all are having two different. So, what we can go ahead and do is select there. Document object. And I can do a group by it, right? Rather than going ahead doing this, group by row ID object, comma, row ID system. And we can go ahead and take the count. Why these are only one? Eighty one records got merged. If they were queued for much. They were not actually merged. So we can go ahead and run. Okay. All these many are being run. Why zero? Don't tell me that due to this particular thing, they stop. Merge size, wow. And so basically, 
we cannot do anything on that but you can see the match data and my match data is not over here as well great so there is no data over here because it got interrupted these are the merge queued for merged records i would say merge operation id and the row id objects original row id objects wow so i can't do anything over here because there might be some issue source row id and the row id objects So due to the configuration setup in the back end, it is stating this thing. Because it is stating over here the maximum number of queued sites has been reached. Whereas with us, the queued size is 1000. match key distribution you can see how many record counts are there there are total 800 record counts which are going with home so you can see all those things which are coming up so this is what is stated over here any questions in the hub console now and i'm sorry about this configuration oh. Over here, this might be due to the server issue that uh, we don't have enough big processing server uh, in the configuration that it is stopping us for that. Hence, all the data would be going ahead and merging whatever data was there in SAP. So there would be 197 records which would have got merged. I think we can uh, we wait because uh, we can start the model there so that that's what I was actually asking because these loads and merge job how we can go ahead and start it and all those things will will be clear hierarchy management we just went ahead created two extra queries so in the queries we have to go ahead and create the queries for the tables which we want to have data in and the put packages. After we do these two packages, we have to go into the profile which we created and we have to enable these all settings over here. Once these settings will be enabled, you can go ahead and view that entire data. You can create, update, you can do all those CRUD operations. No problem in this. You can go ahead and rewatch all these things. We have gone through all these things, but yeah, there were some certain numbers of uh, issues with the data which we had. So that's why one thing was that for discontinuation or interruption between the flow. I agree. So that was one place. Uh, second place over here, what all these things are, you got to know that how labels comes into play that in your developer and your team lead, you can see that the data which is being added up over here is different and manager you can see that the hub state indicator is only for common there is no label there is nothing over here for put details and all but for over here and over here you can see the hub state indicator is coming for developer right That is why when we went ahead and we were creating the data in the developer area, we are seeing the Hubstrate indicator, but in manager and team lead, we were not having the Hubstrate indicator over there.
Okay. You can create the data on either of the sites and then you can search for the records. That is also can be done. You can go ahead into the data manager. You select the employees table. And you can create the data over here also for the first. And then you can go ahead into the hierarchy manager and search that particular data and do the relationship. Okay. So one thing is this one, which we met ahead and did. Second thing was with the data loads, which is, I think, which would be now clear that how the data actually moves from landing to staging to base object, right? That we added up in the landing table, then it moved into staging. We had encountered few issues due to the data. So the data also went into the reject. You can see, oh, this is going to be okay. Resetters, yeah. You can see the data over here. You can, there is no raw table data because we didn't add updated the audits in PRL. You will not see any data. For OPL also, you will not see any data right now. For SAP and for CRM both, I think. For PRL, there is. Because over here in this particular configuration for address, we have enabled for CRM, not for SAP. Let's see, Delta. For SAP, we have not enabled anything. Data went into the PRL data. These are the entire records. If you go ahead and I'll go ahead and do a count. It will go ahead and showcase me 2500 records. Which was inserted. All the data is over here. Okay, so this is all the PRL table data. In the reject, we'll be having all the rejects which happened. Entire records. And the staging, once the landing was being converted, it sent all the data over here. 